Today, we're going to be talking about the Mario games that were on the NES and SNES, which means games like Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3, and The Lost Levels. Let's get started, subscribe, like, and comment, and let's go. Also ranked from worst to best. Warning, this is my opinion, so I will probably have the world worst opinion, but you know what? That doesn't matter. Come put your little comfortable fanboys. At number six, we have Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. This game is not bad. It's just fucking hard. How? Because... So Nintendo thought that with the hard levels of Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, it would butcher the brand of Super Mario Brothers. I mean, do we look like rage-quitting little potholes? We are rage-quitting little potholes. You ever seen gaming on YouTube? Game is fun for the two first worlds. The first world is the best one. It's just a simple Mario game and nothing else. The second world is okay. It's just I hate this pipe part of the world, but I think it's okay. Not bad, but God, I will never play this one ever. Well, it's time to piss off the SNES fandom. Where Brothers 3 could have been. Think of this. You have an NES, and this game is there. You then say, I cannot wait to play this. But then the mother freaking A button is the B button. The game is okay, but the Yoshi's Island game is better anyways. I do hate the Coco Mid Castle. Not gonna say why, but... This game is for people who want challenge. Next up... The most popular of the phrase, differences in places, blah blah blah, this is dope. this is panic, it's not the real, but this is the real Mario game, whatever. Yes, the controls are okay. Just sometimes in some places, I think one character needs it more than another character in some areas. But that's just something. Look, Super Mario Bros. USA is a very cool idea. It had things that other Mario games didn't have, like bomb bombs and shy guys. And why it's better than the other Super Mario Bros. 2 that Japan got is because it's playable, and playability in a Mario game is better than having a game that may not be as well or may not be as good. This game is popular. We should put it on the popular Mario games list on the Wii U. What the f this one is going to trigger some people, but Super Mario Bros. 1 is not the best Mario game. I think that this is a fun time waster because it's playable, the controls are good, and nothing in the game makes you want to die. So this game is good. So for a game that is still one of the most popular games, it still is what makes this game still a good game to buy and play. This game is good, like putting ice cream on a cake good. This is a gameplay with challenge, but nothing like it's gonna make you die hard. Just hard enough that you could play it for a long time. The best thing is that the B button might be the jump button, but it's still better than the boss fights are fun and the music is good. Go check out. So, this game is for people who want Yoshi to Yoshi Yoshi. And in order to that, you even get Baby Mario to be Yoshi by Yoshi because Yoshi gets hit by everything. And then you get Baby Mario freaking trying like, get Yoshi to Yoshi Yoshi. So this got the game of the year, 1995. Yoshi Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. But do you know what should be number one? Super Mario Brothers 3 on the NES or Famicom. Super Nin. We. Bullshit. If this game was a kid, then it'd be one cool kid. First, the game has a good part called the Super Leap, which makes Mario turn into a furry and he can go up in the air. Also, the game's. the levels are good. In some of the worlds, World 1 has the best level, which 1 or 2 are a good way to show that this game is easy and fun. The world, which World 3 is the best, obviously. This is one of the best games ever. Someone who's older than me could say Super Mario 3 is one of the best few games ever. The music is good, it's playable, and Furry Mario. Furry Mario. And there you have it. That was my ranking on the NES and SNES Mario games in the Manly Mario series. What should I do next? Comment in the description below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Well, you reviewed the um, 90s and 80s, besides Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2. Well, it's time for you to review new Super Mario Brothers and rank them all to worst to best to get people hating you. Hmm, good idea. Wait, I have to review new Super Mario Bros. Like every single one from Best to Worst, and I'm probably gonna get hate from it because people definitely hate my opinion, especially when I go to the retro games. I could probably do that. Well, these, this video needs to get at least over a lot of views. I drink this a little, didn't I? Fuck.